What's up guys, it's Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick video and today I'm going to start a new series um, and I'm going to see how it goes. In the past I have done uh, Raw vs Smackdown and the way I did it was I did a Raw review then a Smackdown review and told everybody who I felt that won the uh, week. However, this time it's going to be Raw v Smackdown. Episode 1 is today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically tell you some of the good stuff that happened on Raw. Then I'll come back and tell you some of the good stuff that happened on SmackDown. I may throw in a few bad points there, here and there. But then in the end, I will tell you who I thought won the show for the week. I love wrestling. I love this kind of stuff. So let's get to it. Let's stop this intro. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Let's get started with Raw right now. It starts off with Roman Reigns in the ring talking about his plans for SummerSlam. And I thought it was a very good moment because he said some of you may like it. Some of you may not. Or I think it was someone. Some of you may not like it. Some of you may like it. Uh, I thought it was pretty decent for a guy that doesn't do very good promos. I'm sorry, Roman Reigns doesn't. But he, I, I like Roman Reigns. I'm a fan of Roman Reigns. So... But anyways, Roman Reigns is talking about how he is the number one contender at come SummerSlam. And he will, will get the title no matter if it's the the Beast, Brock Lesnar, or the man they call Joe. That's right, Samoa Joe. Well, that of course brings Joe down. He doesn't like the comments that, uh, the guy, the man, the, oh, so whatever. What Roman Reigns is saying, he doesn't like those comments. He goes after Roman Reigns at fighting, setting up for a match later on in the night. And it looked like Roman Reigns was about ready to finish off the match. He squatted down in the corner when all of a sudden you hear the ambulance backing up. And you look at the Titan Tron and there it is. And the ambulance is backing up into the arena. The doors fly open and it's Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman was back and that was it. It distracted Roman enough for the clutch to be put on by Samoa Joe. Um, they used to lift the hand like three times and let it fall. No, it's just one and it's over. I mean, it's just it's over. Bring the bell. Go ahead. He's out cold. Braun Strowman comes down and it sets it up for great balls of fire. Still not a big fan of, this sh of the naming of the show. But Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, great balls of fire. This should be a good match. Also, in the night we had... The continuance of the, um, um, what, Shattered Dream Productions, and, um, I don't even, I don't remember what R-Truth's calling is, but you had R-Truth and Goldust doing their little videos towards each other, their promos, and this has been kind of interesting in my opinion, but it looks like it's going to have its first confrontation next week, so stay tuned for that, so the building for next week, SmackDown did the same, so we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Next up, I do want to talk. Finn Balor had a match against Bo Dallas. He also interrupted Samson, uh, Samson, Simpson, Samson, uh, Elias, Elias Samson, whatever. He interrupted him during an interview in the back after his match. Uh, Elias comes back and boom, attacks him. Um, setting up a few there. I, I, I see that one coming. Um, don't know much about what it, what kind of feud it's going to end up being, but whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, we do want to talk a little bit about Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins. That's right. He's on the 2K18, WWE 2K18 um, cover. He comes down. He's, he's pumping the fans up. He's all, you guys are honest with me. Great job, guys. We're doing this together, whatever. You know, you, you get the basics right there, right? Yeah. Anyways. The lights go out, and yes, it's Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt sitting there, and he's talking about how he's allowing these fans to feed him. He's allowing these fans to conform him. Uh, Seth Rollins, that is. And he says, I'm coming. Lights go out. The music starts. The fire fireflies, as they call them, start. Um, here he comes. He gets down. He blows out his, uh, his uh, lantern. The moment he blows it out, Seth Rollins is already on the top of the boat takes him out. I guess Seth got a cut above his eye. Uh, so, but uh, really interesting. This could be an interesting feud. I'm, I'm telling you. I thought it was well done uh, and well, uh, well with him. Um, uh, Axel tried to uh, uh, cheer up his buddy Bo Dallas and um, 
the mess runs into them. Says I got a good relating role to you for you guys and uh, a good role for you guys. And later on, he's doing his apology, the Miz is, to Maurice. He gives her champagne. He has a big present for her. He unwraps the present, he's, and there's two bears in the ring. He told her, don't worry, neither one of these bears are uh, Dean, because I've already checked. He unwraps the present. It's that grandfather clock that uh, was broken in half uh, a show or two ago. Anyways, uh, she, she's all happy, giddy. Oh, and here comes Dean Ambrose. Well, he throws, uh, he try, Miz tries to throw Maurice in front of him. Champagne pour is all over her. Uh, as he goes to charge at Dean Ambrose, he runs into the grandfather clock, breaking in half again. Maurice storms off. Well, Dean takes uh, Miz out of the ring. As he's backing up, he walks into the suit bears, and guess what, yeah. Guess what, yeah, it's uh, Axel and uh, Bo Dallas. They take him out. I thought that was, uh, that was kind of neat. Uh, not the greatest, but kind of neat. Uh, th that segment where he keeps pissing off Maurice is kind of funny. Next up, we had Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. That's right. It was a, it was actually a decent match. Uh, decent, uh, well, decent segment, I should call it. But anyways, uh, all of a sudden, the, uh, you have all the girls end up coming down. Then Bailey comes down, and you see Bailey kind of go off, and they take out Nia Jax. It was awesome. Uh, probably one of the better, uh, women's segments I've seen in a while. Um, so... Is that now? Uh, I'm gonna end this with the big story of the night. Kurt Angle kept saying that he's gonna get to the bottom of who attacked Enzo, Enzo Amore. That's right. He's gonna find out who attacked Enzo. So he calls down the revival. He calls down the Big Show. The Big Show basically told be a cast. You don't want to blame me. You don't want to step in that yard because if you want to, we'll go. And he tells Kurt, "We've been friends for a long time. You don't trust me. Fine. Maybe I'm on the wrong show." And he walks off. The revival pretty much had the same statement. We didn't do it. Blah, blah, blah. It's over for them. Corey Graves stands up. And he says, maybe I could help you. And he points out that there was, uh, that uh, Big Cass never saw medical professionals. The WWE medical professionals. That, in fact, Big Cass faked his attack. And that Big Cass is the man who attacked Enzo. Now, I'm upset that they broke up this tag team. I got my Enzo and Big Cass t-shirt. I got my cup with the microphone on it. And now they're no more. I wanted a title run before they broke this team up. But hey, it's what it is. They did it. It's over. And the best promo of the night came by Big Cass in that ring. Talon Enzo, yeah, I carried you. I'm done with it since the NXT days. Since here on Raw, I am done with it. Big boot to the forehead. And Enzo Amore and Big Cass are no more. Let's get over to SmackDown. Okay, folks, let's talk about SmackDown. That's right, SmackDown was really good. We, we were following after Money in the Bank. What are they going to do with everything? I told you that Daniel Bryan was going to be on the show and going to be addressing the whole Women's in the Bank controversy. Women's money in the main controversy. And he was. He was there. Anyways, the show starts off. You got the women coming up to him left and right. You had Charlotte come up and say, I don't care about you. You have no rights, uh, worries about my neck. I just want to know what you're going to do. Uh, and do the right thing. You had uh, Natty beating around the bush. While uh, Tamina uh, kind of just threw it right out there. Uh, you have Becky Lynch... Going, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was very interesting to see all these women trying to figure out information. Later on in the night, you had all of them in the ring. And the moment of the night, the moment, I loved it. Was that no tin? Okay, I I'll try to call them everything that was called all throughout the night. You had Charlotte's nickname, Toad. You had, uh, I think it was Natty or someone say, Insect. Uh, Carmella's sock puppet. That's right. You had James Ellsworth standing in the ring with the microphone. And he goes, Daniel, I don't know what's got into you. Or well, maybe it was having that uh, new baby or vegan hippie baby or something like that. Daniel goes, if you ever speak of my daughter again, I will punch you so hard and then fire you. Whoa. He's heated up about that. Then he goes, 
Last night we had, or he said, uh, uh, Sunday night we had a historic match, a first ever women's money in the bank. And Carmella, tonight you're going to do a first ever in handing over the briefcase. And he takes the briefcase and pretty much walks off. Because next week on SmackDown, money in the bank women's match will Kasum once more be on the air. They will climb the ladder and the woman that gets the briefcase will wins the match. That's awesome. But you also have another match set for next week. The Hype Bros. They don't they don't get hyped. They stay hyped. Versus the Usos. Because the Hype Bros never got their shot because of the injury. This should be a good match. I'm looking forward to this. Um you had the interview with Randy Orton, which was okay. I'm not big into all the interviews, so I'm not going to really go into that too much. You had a really good match between uh, uh, Ziggler and Nakamura. Uh, these two keep killing the show. Um, I hated seeing Chad Gable get buried by... Uh, this is one of the bad parts about SmackDown was Chad Gable getting buried by Kevin Owens, pretty much. Um, but anyways, uh, and then you had a match that really I just wasn't too enthused with. Um, in Jinder Mahal and um, uh, Luke Harper. Uh, but I thought the whole building for next week was great what SmackDown did. Um, so in closing, let's go check it. Now guys, I know I was a, probably a little quicker on the SmackDown uh, review that was the Raw. You have to understand that Raw is three hours. SmackDown's only two. You just gotta understand that. But anyways, uh, I thought it was good on both behalves. I thought uh, Raw did a fantastic job building for Great Balls of Fire, while SmackDown did a fantastic job building for next week's SmackDown. Um, uh, top parts in the night, the promos. Promo by uh, Big Cass, and um, the promo by, um, that I forgot to mention in my review actually, um, Carmella. I thought they were the greatest promos of the night. Uh, both did great in-ring promo work. Uh, maybe, you know, they are dating. Maybe they went to uh, promo school together. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I thought that was good. The best uh, moment of the night, I guess I would say, was um, on, on um, even though I didn't like it, on Raw, you would have to say probably the uh, the betrayal, the, the, the heel turn by Big Cass. Not a big fan of it, but it's okay because I understand this business. On the other end, on on um, SmackDown, the whole "I'm not gonna let you ruin this night" that night for us. We're gonna redo the women's Money in the Bank match. Daniel Bryan, great call, and for that SmackDown, I think barely, barely edges out Raw this week, and I think they're gonna win next week just because of the Money in the Bank yeah. match. Uh, but as far as action goes, yeah, Raw was a little more, and uh, but. I think SmackDown wins because of uh, the controversy and moving on to next week. So, that's just my thoughts. That's my opinions. You may think otherwise. You could tell me down in the comments below. I'm going to get on out of here. Everything's in the description. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe if you like what you're watching and you want more wrestling content. I will try to bring it to you as much as I can. I hope this. I hope you guys like this, um, this v, uh, Raw v SmackDown uh, type video. If you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, let me know if there's any improvements I could do in the wrestling videos if you're a wrestling fan. But anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Catch you guys later. This is Big Bear signing out. Peace.